On January 15, 1919, people in a busy neighborhood near Boston's harbor heard a loud noise. A tank holding more than two million gallons of molasses ripped open. The molasses escaped in a giant wave and destroyed everything in its path. It hurled a piece of the tank against the elevated train track. It swept a house across busy Commercial Street and smashed the house against the same columns. The molasses pushed a firehouse right off its foundation and brought the ceiling down with a crash, trapping a group of firemen inside. A brakeman riding in the elevated train saw the tracks sagging in front of his car. Nearby, young Antonio Distasio, who had been standing near the tank, was swept off his feet and pulled toward the harbor. What would happen to the firemen, the brakeman, and poor Antonio? What about all the horse-drawn wagons, trucks, and cars caught in the sea of sticky molasses? By evening, the neighborhood and the entire city of Boston were in shock. Everyone wanted to know why the molasses tank collapsed. Could someone have planted a bomb in the tank? Days before the accident, the American anarchists had tacked posters on some telephone poles. We will dynamite you, they warned. The nation was in its first age of terrorism. Read the story of one of the strangest disasters in the history of the United States.